Welcome back to G Tap. G Tap. We have returned after um, a lot of YouTube strikes. Yes, uh, I promised Mac I wouldn't freak out and get loud and yell. Yeah, I, it was it was rough. I might be a fifth. So, uh, speaking of starting in the middle, here we are playing Mario Odyssey. Yeah. Uh, just came out what this past week? Two weeks ago? Uh, just about. Yeah. For, uh, for, for us playing here to date this episode right. a little bit. <laughs> yeah, so uh, here we see we're in the middle of an adventure where Peach is already kidnapped, Bowser's already got a wedding airship. Yep. We can see him. I, saw huh. much, I love all the hat hair. It is pretty great. Thing. Like, like Mario's got hat hair, Bowser's got hat hair. I've seen people th seem to think that that's him slicking it back and trying to make it look nice. I think it's... I, I think it's just... I think it's because he's wearing a hat. I think it's partially both. I think it's like, he got nice for the wedding, but then he put a hat over top of it. Disrespectful. He needs that hat. Uh, yeah. I just noticed that all of his air shop stuff are the same sales you have on the Odyssey, which is neat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Love Bowser. <laughs> See, because when he picks up his, like, the hair strands fall out of the hat, mm -hmm. it's like, I think it was a quaff that someone worked really, really hard on, and then he put a hat over it, and it just went to <laughs> yeah. I kind of, you know, I didn't notice this before. The, the march of the airship is kind of like from 3. Yeah. It's kind dun, of a nice callback. Dun, 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 dun. Mm. Uh, the, well, callbacks. This thing is a love letter to all people who have ever played any Mario. Wow, we got knocked far, huh? <laughs> yeah. That's the crater that we're in, I guess. Yeah. Well, actually, it's a hill, actually. It's what? It's a hill. Is it? All right. So we're playing on the Pro oh, Controller okay. here. Yeah, it is. A hill. Okay. Just so we can... Uh, Hook it up to our system a little bit better. Jump up. Mm -hmm. uh, you're stressing him out. <laughs> oh, the, no, my hat. I want my hat back. Well, it's, it's like a tenth of a hat. Well, it's still it's my hat. Back. It's my logo, damn it. Oh, run through the fog. Oh, Here in Tim Burton world. There's a frog with the top hats. What? Who am I? Who are you? I'm from New York. <laughs> I'm straight out of Brooklyn. <laughs> or not, I don't know. This really confuses the, the tapestry of work that we've built to the great Mario lore. Well, yeah, because I guess, well, right before this, they said that he's not a plumber anymore. Well, that I figure is like, he's he's like, I don't know, what do you call it when a royal just has like a sex friend? Like, that's what Mario is to Peach. So is he part of Consort? Peach's, I think Consort, or like he's part of Peach's harem? Yeah, basically. Almost like, because it seems like Bowser's kind of part of her harem at this point now, too. Uh, actually, at the end of this game, is actually a surprisingly weird moment of that. Oh, really? <laughs> it's just a moment where it's just like, Peach is like, both of you boys chase me and I don't care for either one of you. Oh. Well, oh, that's... Yeah, look at that, he's giving her gifts. Look at that. He's showing he's a provider. Look at that. He's providing for her while Mario only wants cake. And we know from the Switch's parental controls that Bowser's a great dad. Yeah, he is. I'm starting to think that the whole Bowser's a freedom fighter thing's true. <laughs> trying to save him from the terrible wretched monarchy. Uh, absolutely. We're trying to say that the monarch herself is not that bad. I, I would marry her. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. It's, it's all, the it's, system that's it's, bad. It's all the toads. So they, 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 the they mushroom, took over the, those the, dang the mushroom royals retainers. are only figureheads. <laughs> those dang mushroom retainers. <laughs> so. Alright, so we may have seen the deep and intricate plot. Basically, Cappy's sister, uh, Tiara, has been taken, and she's on the top of the head of Peach. Mario wants to get Peach, Cappy wants to get her sister back, so let's work together. So, <laughs> so it's his sister. It's not, uh, it's yes. not his girlfriend? It is his sister. Oh, okay. I did not know that. Uh... Otherwise, we'd ask complex questions about, like, hat dating rituals, which we don't want to get into. Uh, We're already dealing with, with, like, human on dinosaur you're, action in this game you're, series. You're speaking for a lot of people here, but there might be some people who want to know that. And there you go. There's the primary conceit of Mario Odyssey. Cappy. You know, it's funny. Is I, I didn't get a chance to get one, but um, Best Buy actually had the caps that you could get. Oh, is it, like, the Mario cap with the eyes? Or? Well, yeah, it's the Mario cap with the eyes. That you could get it was like a pre-order bonus. So just so you know, it's telling you how to do that on the Joy-Cons, which, unlike most people, I think the Joy-Cons are a perfectly viable way to play this game, but I know most people don't want to, or oh, really? we can't. I, it, it seems it seemed like, at least, 
I, I, I have watched some stuff online for this, and it seemed like at least a lot of the major ones I was watching that it felt like they were put on there. I don't know. They didn't really say. Um, but what I was going to say is, if you spin in a circle real quick, mm -hmm. like just rotate the stick around, like the movement stick around, mm -hmm. until Mario runs in a circle, and then you throw the cap, you'll get that circular movement. Gotcha. So, like, if I were to go like, go like this with it. Uh, just run in a circle, real oh. tight, small circle. There. There we go. And see how you'll get this. Gotcha. gotcha. Um, as far as anyone's tell, the only really two you can't really get without at least trying to throw something into the controls mm -hmm. is the vertical and the the vertical throws. Um, which you, like, hardly have been the game. You don't really need them. There's some moons that are a lot easier that way, but gotcha. it's not really ever the difference between doing oh, it or not. This game's pretty. Oh, it's gorgeous. What we got here? Travel tip. I'm gonna press and hold. No. Yeah. Good to know. Oddly specific to our situation. It's almost like they assumed that a possessed cat was gonna help us on an adventure. Weird. I feel like that this game world is lacking verisimilitude. It's lacking? You said? Yeah. It's. it's why would a sign be there to tell me how to throw my cap? Maybe they I put, think it was their plan all along. Maybe they put it up in anticipation. Oh, gold Goombas. Do you know where they're from? Because, like, they, they feel like they're from somewhere because they're like little baby Goombas. But... Um, well, technically they could be from, um, three. They had the little baby Goombas in the desert world. Uh, the Paragoombas. No, no, like the little, there was the little ones that, like, used to pop oh, out of the mouth. Oh, the micro Goombas that were inside the blocks. Yeah. I know mm -hmm. what you're about. Yeah. You can, they could technically be a part of those, yeah. I don't know. Meanwhile, here in Phantom Space. Um, yeah, even this little world, which is is not meant to be anything other than an intro, has, like, this cool, weird, ghosty theme, and... Because apparently ghost hats are a thing. Well, it seemed like th this world was really well, like... The levels in this one were very varied and well thought out. Um, they definitely took some time to make sure that this was going to be... The flagship game. Hold oh, on, hold on. Frog. Now it's time for existential dread. <laughs> what is a frog? What is a man? Apparently, inside her head is liquidy. Well, yeah, that makes sense. That's kind of true. <laughs> I love the realistic frog looks of when he's going inside of it. I just love that. So, uh, where did you guys get the idea from Odyssey? We were watching the being a John Malkovich and thought to ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's true. Oh, he's adorable. With his mustache. You captured a frog, condemning its soul to purgatory. <laughs> oh, jeez, yeah. You got some, got some height. That frog can leap. Okay, I saw that over there, but there's also stuff over there. Secrets? <laughs> I don't know, are there secrets to this game? I, I would assume so, they're considering there's, what, 900 power moons 999 power moons. That's ridiculous. And theoretically you can collect more, they just don't count. Because there is, um... There is the uh, moons you can buy in towns, that are mostly... Oh, I thought like, it counted those when I, uh, when I read this level. It counts them once and then once again but you can still actually buy them after that oh really wow um so it, you can keep buying them but there's a certain point where they stop counting oh uh, okay I, like i said i think each place that has a shop you can buy the moon twice towards your oval 999 count there's a lot of moons there's like a lot yeah I was gonna say, they, they made it so you can play this game if you're a completionist for quite some time and it's fun like that. It's kind of like Breath of the Wild in the mm. sense that it's it's about um, it's about exploration and just kind of having fun finding it. They're not stressful. It's not like I think even a hardcore completionist can understand of like yeah I'll work at this and I'll take a break. I'll come back to it a little bit because there's nice plateaus where you feel like you accomplished what you wanted to. Then you can go back and go even more completionist. Then you can go back and be even more completionist because from about I think it's 500 on is just you meet a completionist. I kind of wonder, um, I start to wonder... You'll have to bend your frog friend. There we go. Um, if that's kind of a an initiative amongst Nintendo to kind of have these bigger, more exploratory games. 
Well, I think, you know, there's a lot, there's, well, there's a bigger conversation happening in gaming in general about like the loot boxes and games as services. I'll tell you yeah. what though, hit the checkpoint, we'll start that conversation on the side of our next episode. Oh, look at you, leaving a cliffhanger in the first episode yeah. back. I'm kind of proud. A discussion about the game industry as well as getting to the boss battle that's coming up. It's going to be great. Oh, now, now you gave away something. There's no cliffhanger left. Thanks. Good job. Could be anything. Could be a boat. <laughs>